right welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi welcome my name is Curtin Small and today I'm going to be filming a video with my brother but he's like kind of in the background he won't come on camera not yet anyway likes. how many likes uh 2.5 billion and I'll come on camera he's never going to come on camera um, so today we're going to be filming an assumption video and reading them all I got everyone to post it in my question box on my Instagram story So this is going to be a pretty chill video I think it's like 6 o'clock And I've Ten just finished six. makeup And yeah, that's why I look like this, I've been in the bath So yeah, just a chilled one And if you want to find out some assumptions then keep on watching Also we're just saying you're eating a McDonald's Because why not, may as well You have five figures in your bank account if I was, I certainly wouldn't be living in a chavvy area. So, definitely not. Well, you do have five I, figures in your bank account. I don't. Who do you think I am? I don't even have four. I don't have five. Five's a lot. <laughs> you don't even have four figures in your bank account. Five's like the tens, isn't it? Tens of thousands. You earn a lot of money from Insta slash YouTube. Kiss, kiss. Nah. Just for fun, isn't it, really? Be nice the day I do, but not at the minute, nah. Wait. I probably should stop eating on screen. Everyone's gonna be disgusted. Disgusting! You have you <laughs> you have over ten k worth of makeup products. I probably do. Like over the years, I've been doing it for like three years now. So mm. over the years, yeah. But I don't think in my room right now. But obviously, with what I've shot out, I'll give away and stuff. Um, you don't really like doing makeup. You just do it full of followers. <laughs> no, because. If I wasn't doing makeup, you got to think about that there, didn't you? <laughs> no, because if I wasn't doing makeup, then I wouldn't have the followers. You have to enjoy doing makeup to get the followers. Fair dues. You know what I mean. Next one. You didn't like Matty when you first met him. <laughs> I've seen X, this X, one. X, by the way, it was just all sudden, really, because we were in like year seven, so it was just like, hi, yeah, nice to meet you. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what it was. You aren't self-taught. Yeah, I am self-taught. I've never had a lesson in my natural. life. all natural. YouTube, Instagram, now TikTok, kind of. Social media, really. You are poor in real life. <laughs> we've just got a rich, happy life. We're not poor. We get by and we you get, get, yeah. we're able to get what we want and still pay rent. Yeah, basically. And you put it better than me. So were you part of a popular group in secondary school? Thinking of school makes me sick. It actually does. Oh yeah, as some absolute plonkers, <laughs> but then it has people where it has you know what, so people that are so nice. Wouldn't you say people. I was really like a, quite a couple of us, but I, we've been good friends for a while. I think a lot of us have been good friends since primary, and then there's two for well we met through secondary. I just think we've been very close since we were kids, really. You prefer dogs over cats? I've never had a cat, so yeah, I don't really see cats. I don't think anyone in my family has ever had a cat. I kind of prefer dogs over cats, just um, purely for the fact I've never had one. You hated school in general. Sure, just be honest. Yeah, it's true. I hated it. It's not the typical, oh, I hate waking up on a morning and hate the same. It was so toxic. I know exams are going to be stressful, but my last literature one, I started having like appendix pains and everything. And then I think it's what happens when I'm under stress. Like I had to be moved out of the main hall and stuff. Like exams are really stressful for me. Because I wasn't there for my last few days of school. They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> before i left like literally in march so i had to email those teachers and i said like obviously they're being amazing and stuff and obviously they know who they are yeah, do you know what some of the people in my are the nicest people it's i've like... ever met some people were just so nice mm. whereas like you get the ones where i'm getting slagged off in group chats all the time like as i mean before i'm not making it up i bet and i got sent out oh i can say as loads it, of as lessons if i've literally have just that. like set a ball off in class yeah. oh my favorite teacher yeah she's probably used watching this and so's the daughter. I and fault her one bit. She helped me so much. Well. Right. Um, next one about school. You hated maths. Loved maths. Maths was my favourite subject. And one of my favourite teachers, actually, like, my maths teacher. Um, I was getting, like, six and seven, so I wasn't doing, like, that bad because I still had more time to improve. Chilled. The classmates, pretty funny. It was like, you can talk, but as long as you get your work done and as long as you're still working hard. Your sister begged you to do hair makeup. I don't think they do as much as they used to. I have like three, so the two younger ones I do face paint on, the oldest one I do glam on. They don't really ask me to no more. Uh, he's just eating a McDonald's. <laughs> we should have done a mukbang. You steal your mum's makeup when you were little. No, not really. I kind of my own makeup from like a young age because I used to do dance comps and stuff, so I didn't really get into it till I was like 13 when I already had my makeup. I used to get given makeup for like Christmas and stuff and I was like, oh, I'm not touching that. And then I finally did. So it was already all there for me. I don't think I've ever really had the need to. My milkshakes are gone. You want to have a lot of children? 
absolutely not <laughs> two is the highest because then i'm gonna have to get a bigger car then i'm gonna have to get a bigger house then i'm gonna have to get a bigger everything and it's just that matty really likes spending time with your sisters love spending time with me don't you matty <laughs> I don't even think he watches my videos no more. He does with the littlest one the most, I think, because she's been around since she was born. Like, we got together in 10th of March 2016, and she was born on the 29th of March 2016, so he's been around, like, since she was born, so probably my littlest one the most, yeah. Next assumption, you smoke, you daddy bugger. Absolutely not. I don't think I've ever touched one. It's just not for me. I just don't think I could waste that much money on fags in my time. I tell my <laughs> mum this all the time. It's just not for me. You want to make makeup your job? Yeah, I'm going to college to do makeup too, so like that's just fair for it. And I've been doing it for like three years now, so yeah, like why stop here? I ah, say so you should go for it. I reckon you could. I'm honest with you. If I thought your makeup was terrible, I'd say it's terrible. <laughs> You're too you know honest sometimes. I, I assume that you have seen James Charles before, or that you hate James Charles. No, I have nothing against James Charles. I've never seen him. We're in totally different countries. He's in America right now, I think. I'm not too sure where he travels the world. Yes. We're in a little town in the UK. He's in, like, somewhere, probably Los Angeles. In, um... He's in his mansion, Yeah, wine. exactly. I don't have nothing against him, though. I do feel bad for, obviously, what's happened in the past year. We've tatted Jeffrey and Shane, but... He, Shane's a bad crazy. man. You get no hate. I don't think it's ever really bothered you. Nah. To be honest. I just don't care because I'm doing well for myself. So why should I be bothered about other people that I, well, that will be on the door when they're older? Fully agree, right? You wish you didn't get big on TikTok. I don't really mind it. Like, obviously, I'm very happy and like very grateful for all the followers I have. I think it depends if you have like a thick skin or like it depends on what you do. I think the makeup community gets so much hate because people say, like, clown makeup, stuff like that. It doesn't really bother me. I just think, it's not even the fact that you're being big. I just think people are too toxic these days and have too much to say. I don't get why everyone can't be nice to each other and just comment nice stuff. But it doesn't bother me. Oh, Harrison. Oh, God. You're going to do a chewing fat ASMR challenge. Right. I don't think <laughs> anyone do will understand this, but I go on PS4 and play Fortnite with my brother and his mate, and they all fart through the mic, and I hope they're watching this because you are all scruffy ass. <laughs> so that's what that refers to. Honestly, I should just get filmed for YouTube and put their fart on my YouTube channel. I don't do it, by the way. Sometimes you wake up and can't bother to do makeup, but you do it anyway. Determination. Yeah. Basically, because when I've done 100 days of makeup, I can't slack. So I'd either do like two looks in a day and then leave a day, or I'd just do like just push through it really. You just don't really have a choice when you commit yourself to those types of stuff. But yeah. You prefer doing bigger creative looks and small looks? Yeah. Looks I do better. Oh, You've got what in your eye? The bug. The hell? I went to spell goodbye. I think my bigger looks do well on TikTok, but my smaller looks do well on Instagram. Like my top three looks on Instagram. So that's my P. Louise one, which got like 13k because obviously it was a challenge. My biggest looks are my Galaxy one, my Flames one, and my comic book one. And they didn't even, they took barely amount of time compared to everything else. So. Do you like Kieran? Don't ask how I know him. Kieran Donoghue. Ask you that one. Yeah. I wonder do ask me, eh? Um, Kieran? I'll tell Paris. No, I'm joking. Kieran's a bit of a simp. <laughs> what is your favourite childhood memory? I'd say I have different ones for each year. I think the best thing probably about my childhood, and it sounds so stupid, is probably <laughs> the One Direction concert. Is that bad? No, because One Direction actually are amazing. So that was like the best birthday of my life. It was like my ninth birthday and we went to Not Nottingham. Before I get slated for saying that wrong, you actually seen them, and it's pretty, right. pretty cool. Who is your three favorite singers? Harry. Harry's Harry's my favorite. I've got a weird obsession for him. Oh my god, Wallows! I love Wallows. I, I was gonna say Billy is my third one. I love them. I love Wallows. I don't know if people know who they are, but you need to. Uh, Dylan Minnette is the main band singer, and he's up for thirteen reasons why. And then Billy. That's my third one. Like, my music taste is pretty much everyone the same. Obviously, One Direction falls under Harry as well because exactly the same thing, really. Who are yours? Mine. Yeah. Um, Billy Eilish, 
Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. He's got a he's got a weird thing for Billy Eilish, as you can tell. So this is the end of the video. That was all the assumptions and questions answered that we had. Just we picked some of the best ones. Obviously, they weren't all assumptions. We brought some questions into it. I'll link my social medias right here, my TikTok and my Instagram. I'm hoping to get three thousand subs by the end of July and hopefully two hundred fifty k on TikTok by the end of July too. All I ain't no bad tried. Fucking subscribe right now. Oh, <laughs> that was about right fifty different accents. <laughs> so. Comment some suggestions for videos I should film down below. Obviously, this was just a pretty chill one. I'm literally sat in my jamas and I was I had wet hair at the start of the video. I just McDonald's. chilled out and eating a McDonald's, so why not? Also, let me know what your favourite video is and we'll film some that are similar to that. Thank you so much for all watching. I hope you've learned a bit more about me, kind of, and my life. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video next Sunday. And subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Ciao, ciao. Bye.